It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world, only a banger home. Good evening, good evening. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Can you speak up for me? Yeah, I'm doing all right. What's your name, bro? Julian. Julian? Yeah, J-U-L-I-A-N. Okay, good, good. How old are you, Julian? 19. Wow. 19? 19? 19 years old. Where are you from, Julian? Upper Darby. Upper Darby, that's a nice place, ain't it? It's all right. What brings you down here to Kensington today? Um, I'm... Well, I've been out here for like six or seven months now from doing drugs. Um, and I'm doing drugs in general probably for at least like three, four or five years. I started off doing light drugs, you know, smoking weed. And I started doing harder drugs and stuff. Um, you were introduced to drugs as a child? Um, as, as a teenager? Yeah, pretty much. Probably like 14, 15 years old. I dropped out of school because of that. I dropped out of school in um, ninth grade. And, um, and then probably like two or three years later, I, um, I was still living with like, um, my parents. Julian, you're only 19, right? Yeah. Where are your parents? That I don't know. I, I left because um, I don't, well, I don't really want to get into it, but I uh, just said one of my family members kind of got abusive, and I just, mm. you know, um, kept on accusing me of stealing, which I wasn't. So I just decided to leave. I couldn't, you know, I didn't want to get a, abused for no reason. Okay, that's why you ran away. Yeah. So, like I said, I've just been out here on my own for like um, six or seven months now, and it's, it's, it's been rough. Um, I mean, you don't have any other family members in your corner that could possibly help you. I uh, I do, but um, I kind of forgot where um, one of them lives. Um, Still trying to remember. I, I don't have a good memory, but um, yeah. The, the rest just I, I really don't know. Okay, you don't you don't know where any family members are that could help you, no. or you don't have any communication with them. I understand. Have you seeked any help? You know, being as though you're on the streets like this. Um, I'm trying to now. Um, in the past, it was just like uh, me just. To just trying to see like if, um to just trying to get the information um but now like since I'm starting to see what drugs is doing to me now I'm trying to like um get uh, I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get things together and um but it's a little hard to right now because um I'm on a, I'm on a certain drug that um that um that I that I, that you need in order to like function, and um, you know, if you don't have it, you go through withdrawals and like badly, and um, it's a little hard to you know, um get things together when um I don't have you. so um, but um, uh, I. I'm, 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 it's, I'm, I'm trying to get it so I can get my things together right now. Now, Julian, what's your drug of choice? Um, I, I, I really don't like, uh, I'm, I'm going to just say dope. I'm, I'm, I don't really want to say, you know, the name of the dope, but it, it is dope. You uh, said dope? Yeah, dope. And that's the, um... The drug that um that's making me go through withdrawals and w w w which I need to, in in order to function, in order to do things. Like if I don't have it, I can't um 
like it's hard for me to like move around, walk. Um, like I go through anxiety. I can't think straight. Um, and it, yeah, like like I I, I thought like I can't eat. I can't sleep. Like it's it's really hard for me to do things if I don't have it in my system. Do you want to get clean, Julian? Um, I do. Yes. You do? Badly. Badly. Why not try rehab? Um, uh, yeah, I'll, like I said, um, but, um, I will, but first I needed the things that I need to do right now. Um, I need to do those things first in order for me to go to rehab. What things are those? What things are those? Uh, what type of things? I need to get my information, my socials, my ID, my welfare, uh, you know, my food card. So I have like, you know, so when I get out of rehab, I have like food stamps. And, and also I have a, um, say a shelter. Uh, and, um, and, and, and like, like, um, your, your hands are kind of big, Julian. Oh, um, oh yeah, oh, hold on. Um, the, the 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 place uh where um because because I also need to get, I also need to get a job so um the, I, the, there's this place where um you, um where you um have to like go but the place it it it, it does um it it gives you like job information it's like like idea of like what like what jobs there are like out like out there in the world. Um, but you was talking about my hands. Um, I was asking about them. Yeah, these are um, abscesses from dope. Do um, you mind if I show you? Um, um, you, you you mind if I show you a really bad one in my um, my leg? It, 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 it's a hole in my leg. It, if you don't mind, I, I might be able to learn something from it. All right. And it, this is basically dead flesh. Like it, it start, um, it starts to stink. Like, like it, like dead flesh. Like every, every, every single time, like Ooh. I'm around someone, they, they, they start to smell it. They don't. Ooh, they I don't know if nose. I can eat this close. Ooh, ooh, Julian, you're only 19, man. Oh. no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, yeah. Jul Julie. Mm hmm yeah it's bad you need to get to the hospital it's, man it's basically getting to my bones you need to go to the hospital I you know. need to go to the hospital man. it hurts when i touch it so i try my best to cover it and like i said in the hospital rehab First, I need to go do those things first. So, like, when I do get out, I have something ready. You need help, man. But, get you yeah, some help. I, I know. <sighs> A lot of people be telling me, you ain't the first. And, 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 and they, they, they thank you for, you know, film. Yeah. How long have well, you been I, using drugs for? These drugs, have you ever had any clean time off of them? I know you said uh, since you were 14, 15. The first time I did them, um, I, um, like, the, like the very first time, um, were for, for like a couple of days, and then I stopped doing them for like, like five, six months. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. And then I just started doing them again. Right. And then ever since, I couldn't have stopped. And that's probably for like a year or two. Does anybody try to help thing. you at all? Out thing. here? I know you showed somebody else that leg too, right? You said I'll get you some help. Maybe you said what? Has anybody tried to help you at all? Um, Yeah, my friends out here and stuff like that. How? How do they help you? They, they, they've been giving me information, you know, places where to go and mm. where, um, where to get help. And, um, 
I need somebody to call that I that can come out here and pick you up for me, man, because this hurts. I can't hurts. right now because I like I said. I'm gonna find, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find somebody. I'm really busy. Come pick you up. And I, you gotta give me your contact information how I can reach you, man. So I can help you. Um you know prevention point? Yeah. Every single day just 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 check in there because every single day. I, Cause I kind of um I miss out because I overstepped again today, but for sure tomorrow like I I, I don't I don't even care how because um I like I like I just got like um so some some dope today, and the plan was just to just um chill for a second and, and just just let it kick in and then somehow I just um I just overslept and. Then, it's like what you said, like it's five o'clock now. So, and it, and it ends like at like four o'clock. Julian. But I'm um, hold on, no, no, no. I'm just, I know, I'm just saying, I don't care if if I don't have the dope tomorrow. I, I'm, st I'm still go. Like I'm talking about like early, like as soon as it opens. Okay. But, yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way to provincial point to meet you tomorrow, man. Okay. We gotta get that treated, man. What did you want to be growing up, man? You said what? What did you want to be growing up, Julian? I really didn't have much in mind because um, I didn't know what was really out there in the world. But now, since like I know um, like what's you know out there, um, I probably want to be like like an artist, you know, like the person. Um, who do, who be a what? Do, I'm sorry. And, and an artist, put the person who do songs and okay. stuff. Music, or or, or or probably um, I, 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 like I said, I really don't know. It, it, it just just for now, just just something small like, you know, um, like music or something. Um, you don't have any crutches. How do you get around? How do you make your make your way around? You walk on that leg? Yeah, it, it's I don't know how, but um, sometimes it hurts when I walk around on it, but. It's not, it's not that bad. It's tough, man. It's tough. It's tough living. I mean, it's bad, but it, it me walking around, it, for, you know, the pain and stuff. It's not. It's not that bad. You gotta get you a shower, get you all cleaned up, get you in some fresh new clothes. Maybe get yes. you to the uh, Empowering Cuts barber, man. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Gotta get you brand new, man. You gotta bring you back. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get some clothes and try to meet you on Provincial Point tomorrow, man. All right. Says seven? Um, I think it opens up like at eight or nine. I'm not 100%, um, 100 sure. For, you know, we, um, you know, because today's Thursday and tomorrow's Friday. So, but it says Saturday, Sunday, it's closed, but like Monday through Friday, it's open. Um, it probably opens up like at eight or nine or ten or something. Just, 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 just come at like at ten o'clock, right? Cause, um, cause he, he, even I really don't know. Well, probably. we can talk off camera about your whereabouts, and maybe I, you know, I just find a better location for us to meet at. Right. But um, I'd like to thank you for your time, Julian. Mm -hmm. It's been great talking to you. Thank you for the information. Thank you for uh, you know, mm -hmm. being real. We got a familiar face, guys. Good morning, Julian. This is your first time really meeting me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ATM Ray. ATM Fox interviewed you last time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to lie, Julian. Uh, we was looking for you all over Kensington, man. Somebody said you was over here. Somebody said you was over there. Um, ATM Fox had a whole bunch of stuff for you. Clothes, food, and we had some resources if you wanted to get well and stuff like that. Um, we couldn't find you. You move around a lot, don't you, Julian? Yeah, I do. Yeah. But a lot of people in the city know you. They was like, oh, I know that kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a lot of people in the city know you. Why is that? Are you a social person or what? Uh, I mean, I, I'm just trying, you know, um, trying to figure out ways to get well, trying to you know, try make some habits, trying to make moves, or at least try to, at least. But yeah. I do try and tend to move around a lot, you know. Not only that, sometimes I get restless legs, so I just got to walk around. Yeah. But um, I do want to say thank you. Guys, you know, for all the support, donating, you know, me the money and stuff like that. I just wish, um, I wish I could have got it, you know, with the whole, the whole situation didn't happen. Yeah, so, um, 
ATM Fox, I told you off camera, ATM Fox, uh, you know, he created a GoFundMe for you. Uh, right. Your leg was in bad shape. You had a lot going on. Right. And everybody really, really, really felt really bad about your situation. Unfortunately, somebody got, somebody reported the GoFundMe. Right. Uh, people are saying this is other YouTuber, this guy that be, you know, interviewing people from his car. Mm -hmm. I think it start with a J. Yeah. But somebody reported the GoFundMe, Julian, and... And that was the issue with that, man. And whoever, like, gave out the GoFundMe went right back to their accounts, man. Julie, I do want to say that you're probably a very, like, person on the channel. Um, a lot of people want you to get well and stuff like that. I did hear that you was in a shelter and stuff, right? Mm, sure. Uh, not really. Like, I didn't really like the shelter that they, um... That they put you in? Yeah, because uh, it was, like, the very first day, too. It was, like, I just left, but... I went back there be because um, uh, I wasn't really getting good sleep, so I just I just said um, they might as well just go back and just you know try it again. I'm actually supposed to go back around there today at nine or ten. Yeah. But um, I don't, I don't know if it's um, you know what time it is. It's about nine o'clock, by eight something, like yeah, eight something um, I think. Yeah, I'm supposed to go back there on 9 or 10 and talk to them because I heard that I still got a bed available for me. Yeah. But they said they don't. I have to talk to someone about it, but um, they won't be around until 9 or 10 today. If you don't mind re relocating, man, I know a couple availabilities right now as we speak. Um, if you want to leave Philadelphia and go to Jersey, it's a couple, you know, spots available, man. I, I got their number on speed dial, man. Awesome. It's up to you. I'll think about it. You uh, sure? Uh, I uh, could lift you. I, I could Uber you there right now, man. I, I'm on. Um, now, um, the whole, um, because you want to do this video for the update thing. And yeah. I want to update about the, um, the app that's the, the app. Yeah, what happened the, with that, man? The hole in my leg. It is starting to heal up. It does heal. Even, even if you keep on, like, using. Ooh, I see the hole through the thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it takes a while. Now, it is starting to heal up. Ugh, Julian. Oh my gosh. It was know. worse before, right? Yeah, I, I, it was. I don't know if you can tell if it is starting to heal up or not, but it is starting to heal up. Like I said, I don't know if you can see oh, it. Oh man, but, Julian. Uh, have you been able to oh, receive medical much? attention, man? No, I mean, I do have antibiotics. Yeah, oh, you got um, antibiotics. I do have antibiotics. Okay, that's perfect, dude. I did go to the hospital for it, but they wasn't really like treating me right, so I just left. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but um, I'm just saying about like treating it myself, so yeah. I can like, cause I I I know like what to do, cause I know like, like how bad it feels like when I touch it, cause yeah. um, it only hurts when you do. Um, I mean sometimes it does hurt when you don't touch it, but it really hurts when you do touch it, like, like. How about clothes? Like, you like, having it, any clothes? Like it's a guarantee when you do touch it, it does hurt. Um, I'm gonna close. I already I already got someone like helping me out with that already. I but, got a couple outfits for you too, man. But um, it's in my car, so. But um, yeah, I'm just thinking about you know treating it myself. Please, man, Julian, bro. Yeah. Julian, I'm not going to lie, man. Me and ATM Fox, it was like really hot out here. We we're searching everywhere for for you, man. Like trying to find you. And this is when like the gold for me was like, you know, before it got reported and everything. Right. So um. I don't know, ATM Fox, the reason why he started the GoFundMe was because it wasn't his plan at first, but then everybody was in the comments like, help this kid, give him a GoFundMe started. Help this kid, give him a GoFundMe started. Sadly, Julian, you don't have a phone or no email, nothing that we could contact you in, bro. So ATM Fox, he took the, the people, the, the subscribers, the commenters, he took their advice. And like multiple people said, start a GoFundMe for Julian. Let's help him out. And that's why ATM Fox started it. It wasn't no greed. It wasn't no, we're good. Like on a financial tip, Julian, we're, we're pretty decent. We don't have to scam nobody and do no mess up stuff. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But the commenters was telling ATM Fox, yo, start a GoFundMe for Julian. Let's help him. Let's help him out. And I'm not going to blame that YouTuber that, that interviewed people from his car. Because we're not quite sure who did it yet, but the GoFundMe was repo reported, Julian. Yeah. And that, and that could have changed your whole circumstance. But guess what? Hmm. I don't got much, Julian, but 
what, the little bit I do have, off the strength, I'm gonna look out for you, bro. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna look out for you, bro. And thank you guys, like I said, for helping me, for supporting me, for being there for me. I appreciate this because my life got turned around when I was um, a young kid. Because in the beginning, when I was young, um, everything was good. Everything was going well. My dad, he messed it all up because he He's was... He's abusive, right? He was using. He was um, using? He was using. And um, that, that messed up my life because... We had like food stamps and mm -hmm. he would like go and sell like the food card. Sometimes he would leave a little bit of money on the food card, but sometimes he would sell all of it. He was broke, hungry. He would even ask like my grandma for money, even like my aunt, because sometimes my, my aunt, um, well not sometimes, um, my aunt was actually living with us. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and then even other family members who was um, living with us. My yeah. dad would ask them for money, and then, like I said, we would just go broke and have no money, have no food. He would, like, even sell my, like, my video game consoles, Gosh. My, my bike, you know. He would sell all, you know, all, all, all my stuff to keep me occupied so, I, you know, you know, I could have fun, you know, and be a kid. He just took that all away from me, just growing up. So all was just there and left was just drugs. So, and, um, you know, I got depressed, bored, and, you know, something in my head just told me to, you know, start doing that because of that, because all there was was just drugs. And, you know, even my mom was using two COD, you know, the overdose, you know, you know using, so, um, um, I ain't got a mom anymore. She wasn't really there for me growing up because of that whole um, drug use thing. So she, she wasn't really there for me growing up. And my dad tried. Oh, he man. fucked up, you know, later on in life and she and just now I'm just out here in the You down here. You too young though. Julia, tell him your age. For those that don't know, bro. Yeah, 19. 19, 19 years 19 old. He out here in these old. streets, man. Going through this. Going through this, man. It's heartbreaking, bro. I have friends cry when they see your interview, bro. They cry. I don't know. They cry, bro. Grown men cried. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's heartbreaking, bro. Even um, ATM Fox, the one who interviewed me. Yeah, know, ATM that. Fox. He's he, he's hurt because yeah. ATM Fox got a lot of backlash about you know the GoFundMe and stuff. Even he started like crying when he um. Yeah, saw bro. He he like, really he it bothered him. It bothered him and, and it hurt his feelings when people like try to call him a scammer and shit. And really, he was just trying to help you. Like he met you and stuff like that. He's really trying to help you. Right. Julian, they, they they saying you picking up bags from the ground and chewing on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what they saying, bro. Like dope bags, right? Yeah. Chewing on dope bags, broski. Like, that's heartbreaking, bro. You only 19. And, and you got dealt with a bad hand, bro. It ain't like you was a silver spoon kid. You know what I'm saying? And you fell mm -hmm. into like, you know what I mean, a messed up situation. You, you, you was in messed up situations from your youth, bro. From your youth, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, you know. So what we gonna do, man. Uh, I'm gonna look out for you today. Food, whatever you want, bro. Um, I got some clothes in there and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. But you know we gotta have some organization. We could restart another GoFundMe for you if you want but we got to be able to reach you Julian we got to have a certain time to meet at a certain place uh, uh, you got to write down phone numbers you have to I got you you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but it's all up to you man all right all right because I'm not going to blame it on the dude that interviewed people from his car I'm not 100% sure that he reported the GoFundMe but Somebody reported it, and a lot of people were saying it was him. Right. You know what I mean? Um, all right, we ain't going to hold you up. I know you hungry and thirsty. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, 
All right, bro. Let's right. go. Got my boy with me now, man. I don't let nobody in my car. You know what I'm saying? Got my boy with me, bro. Wear it up. ATM, all time media. Hey guys, we got Julian here. Um, he has a lot to do today, so we're not going, you know, be here too long. Yeah. But Julian got some good news for y'all, man. Let him know what's going on with yeah, you, Julian. Um, like I was telling him, um, I'm off the streets now. I'm staying in this shelter called Beacon mm -hmm. at Huntington Station. So it's pretty chilling there. Um, you know, um, there's no curfews. Um, you can come and go whenever you please. You don't have to leave at any time. Like you stay there 24 seven, but you have to, you know, show up at least like um, uh, after three days. If you, if you ain't there by like, after like three days, um, um, they gonna discharge you or something. You have to leave. Please, Julian, yeah. don't mess that up. Yeah. Do they help with housing though? If you stay there for a while, do they help with like programs and stuff for you to get housing or what? Uh, oh yeah, housing, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, if you stay there for a few, they're they gonna hook you up with, you know, you group with your own apartment and stuff, and it's all for free. So, um, if, you, know, you gotta go like, you know, prevent the plan or something, you know, if you, you probably listen to this probably somewhere else in a different state, but if you are listening to this, you know, around here in this area, um, yeah. around Kensington, yeah, you know. Um, um, but how about your family? I heard your family, you got in touch with your family too, man. That's yeah, what I heard. Yeah, um, my grandma and my um, my sister's aunt. Okay. Uh, that, that's about it. That's about it? Mm -hmm. um, you still using though, man? You still getting high? Um, you at least lessening the bags a little bit? Um, yeah. A little less? Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'm telling you, bro. Don't mess the Seltzer thing up. Um, right. You have a strong f fan base, Julian, so right. I just want to ask, is there any way people could contact you directly? Um, I don't have... No, and, um, nah, you don't really want to be bothered? No, no, it's not that. It's just that I don't have a phone. You don't have right, a phone? Man. I mean, <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know no other way to contact me, but... Okay. Yeah, I don't even have a phone, so but, I don't know how that's yeah. going to work out. Julian, bro, um, I'm going to talk to you off camera, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But, bro, um, I'm just happy that you see that you're still alive. Mm -hmm. You're in a shelter, you ain't got to sleep outside anymore. Um, next step, man, kick the dick addiction, get you a J-O-B, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get your housing in order, bro, it's possible, bro. Mm -hmm. um, a great friend of the channel, Carlene. Man, she just she just graduated from well nah the sober living house. She graduated from the sober living house. Seven months clean. I met her at her worst. She said her story, bro. Now she's doing real good for herself. Got her a job. You know what I'm saying, bro, it's possible. Julian, everybody know your age. You 19 now. Mm -hmm. Very young. One of the youngest men we ever interviewed. The last 19 year old I interviewed. I haven't seen him ever again. And he had to get pacemaker and stuff on his heart and stuff like that. Never seen that kid again, man. Um, you know, I'm happy to see you. We're going to keep it short. Julian got a lot to do today. Mm -hmm. And um, blessings to you, man. ATM right. Ray, All Time Media, giving the voice out to the voices, bro. Appreciate All right. you. All right, y'all take care. All right. Any words for the fans, the people that like you? You get a lot of, you know, a no, lot no. of traction, man. No, no. You don't got no words for them? Mm. Nah. Do you don't like the camera? No, it's just I don't have nothing to say right now. You don't know what to say? All right. All right, thank you, bro. Yeah. Blessings to you, man. Stay prayed up. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Long time no see. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you again, man. Yeah. Happy you doing better, man. Yeah, yeah. Got a good set of fresh clothes on. Mm-hmm. Nice outfit. It's great, man. Mm. How's it been since the last time I seen you? It's been all right. Um... I got a place to sleep now. I'm staying in a shelter called okay. Beacon. So, you know, I got a place to rest my head. Um, I'm about to get a job pretty soon. Starting in September, cleaning up the streets. Right. And yeah, I mean, not, not really much. I've just been, you know, been hanging in there. I'm happy for you, Julian. Yeah. I'm happy for you, Julian. A lot of people seen the video. Mm -hmm. They they just want it better for you, and and you look better. Right. I know it's still rough out here on the streets of Kensington. Mm -hmm. You say you got into a shelter, right? 
You know, you see the cops going by. Yeah. What's it like out here, man? Yeah. It's um, still hectic? Yeah, pretty much. Cops everywhere, ambulance, you know. Um, you know, driving down the street because someone, you know, um, is uh, getting narc here. Mm. You know, they're, um, they, they, they can't wake up. And you know, got, uh, you know, OD. So, but, you know, I'm trying to keep, you know, um, I'm trying to um, keep it easy, you know. Right. Try and do less. Yeah, you know. stay positive, boy. Right. Yeah. Stay positive. You won't get out of this mess. I'm about to um, sign up for welfare, you mm -hmm. know, and the ID. So, you know, That's I have good. Yeah, money coming in, you know, food. Buy some food and stuff. You got a birthday coming up? Uh, I already passed. My birthday's on May 6th. May 6th? Mm -hmm. All right. How old are you? 19. Are you? Okay. okay. Just making sure uh, I forget when the video was. I thought it was in April. Man, I'm just glad. What's the condition of your leg? Um, it's 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 healing. It's healing. No, it's healing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Julian. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, thank you. I'm proud of you. Hold on. You've done a good job, man. Mm -hmm. You've done a good job since the last time I seen you, man. Right. I'm really proud. Taking care of yourself out here now, huh? Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah, I got people who's looking out for me. It's a, it's a success story. I'm not even going to lie, Jolene. A lot of people were saying you wasn't going to make it with that leg. I'm glad it healed up fast, mm -hmm. man. Funny part is, I'm not ever taking anything for it. It's just healing on its own. I'm still using, too, so I don't know how it's healing. It's not good, Jolene. It's not good. You got to... You got to... Um, you gotta, you gotta make sure you get your wound care. Mm -hmm. you gotta stay off of it, right. you know, not not too often, and make sure. Try, try your best. To slow down on the usage. How much are you using? Not that much. It's just you know, um, sometimes I can't even um, get a um, a bag a day. So I'm just you know. Throughout, you know, some days I'm just um, sober. Um, a bag a day, some days you're sober? Uh-huh. You can get out of this, man. Mm -hmm. What's it like in the shelter? You say you're sleeping in the shelter now? Yeah, um, it's cool. Um, it doesn't have any curfews. Being there 24-7, you don't have to leave, like, at a certain time, like, in the morning or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you got three meals a day. Um, you watch TV. You get your own locker, but okay. um, you have to buy your own lock. Um, yeah, I got bathroom showers. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's good, man. Like, might get you housing. You speak yeah. to them about that? Mm hmm. Yeah, I already, um, I um, talked to my um, my case manager, my caseworker, or whatever with, about that. She asked me a few questions. Um, well, Julian, nice bikes. Yeah, she asked me a few questions about the housing, and you know, after each answer, she just wrote down a piece of paper. Okay. I'm just, you know, I was, I was preparing to get into housing, and but what is you know. She's, you know, she's asking questions about where I'm going to live, um, how, um, like what, what that um, apartment is going to look like, and yeah. And I, yeah guess, you, I guess if I stay around for a couple more months, I, uh, I'll get into housing. Right. You, you deserve it, man. You stay. Mm -hmm. You stick with the shelter, mm -hmm. and you stick with the programs they're offering you. Slow down on your usage. It's, it's 12 o'clock at night. So you're not, you're not going to the shelter tonight? No, I am. I'm the, I was just walking around getting some fresh air. You say that again? I was just walking around getting some fresh air. Is they going to let you in this late? Yeah. Like I said, there's no curfew. Oh, no curfew. Okay. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good, I guess. So. Yeah. yeah. Fresh air. How often do you get sick, Julian? 
Um, like I said, not that much. I mean, some days um, I don't have it. So like throughout the day, you know, I'm, you know, just and I'm not not like severe, um, not severe withdrawals, but you know, I am sober. But um, you know, if I don't have it, you know. If I don't have it on um, that one day, I'll probably get it the next day. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, it's not that bad. I don't really don't get sick that much. So once you get clean, Jolene, what do you want to do with your life? Any uh, thoughts? Mm, probably start. Um, I, I really want to get in. I really want to get into music. You know, be an artist. So I might, you know. To start my career on doing uh, music. What's your favorite song, Julie? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since I listened to his music because I lost, you know, contact on social media and stuff. Yeah. I don't have a phone, so I don't know. You ever hear any music out here that you like? Sometimes, you know, um, people be um, blasting music in the cars, but I don't. I don't know what the song is. Not in the car too often, huh? Hmm? Not in the car too often, huh? Not in the car too often? I said you're not in the car too often. Oh, no. I'm just walking around. Sometimes I catch the L. You know, accept it. So, what, do you, what do you want most out of life, Julie? Um... Positivity, good friends, and yeah, you, know, you know, just loyalty, respect. That's pretty, pretty much it. Well, right. you want the whole world to be positive. Mm -hmm. You want respect, loyalty, good friends, loyalty, good friends. You have any of that at all? Mm, yeah. You got the positivity. Mm -hmm. Got any good friends? Yeah. Who's your good friends? Mm, I got a few out here. I don't feel like, you know, saying their name. Are they loyal? Mm hmm. Do I'm, they? I make sure that they are loyal. <laughs> Do people respect you out here? Yeah. Right, Joanne. I don't think it's like that out here. I think you don't have those things out here. That's what you're seeking, right? I mean, sort of. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's like then and there, you know, I get um, guilty out here. I mean, it's not all the time, but sometimes. Do you like Kensington? I do have good friends. <laughs> um, yeah. I do. Is this like kind of all you know, huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that, Julian. Got to get exposed to more, more stuff. It's more things. It's better things for kids. It's a better life out there. It's more to the world. You can go jet skiing. You can right. go, go skydiving. Right. Go crabbing, fishing, whatever. Right. I'm saying there's so many activities you can be doing besides being out here and hanging out with this crowd. I say they're not loyal to you. They're not your friends. And they don't respect you. Because they they will rob you blind, I'm assuming. Everyone says that, that their friends rob them blind. Have, have any of your friends robbed you? Stolen from you? Not really, no. No. I love the positivity, though, man. Mm -hmm. Keep that rolling, Julian. All right. How, how are you making money these days? I'm not, but that's why I'm about to get a job pretty soon, cleaning up the streets. I mean, um, it's like four, hour, four hours a day, um, $50. Like four hours and $50 a day. You so say you're about to get the job? Mm -hmm. Starting in September. Starting in September, okay. Mm, that's good, man. That's good news. Mm -hmm. You want to get off these streets at all? Yeah. You want to leave Kensington? Not really. I mean, 
I don't know. I got, I got you know, figure some things out first before, you know, leaving. But, yeah, I mean, I, don't know. I, mean, I do want to, you know, leave Benjamin, but not like that. I mean, I, mean, I, I still sow my respects out okay. here, so. Right. If I'm going to, you know, live somewhere, you know, in a nice apartment, it's probably going to be, you know, in the city of Philadelphia. City of Philadelphia, you like this city? Mm hmm You don't like Kensington. I mean, I do. You do. I mean, I mean, yes and no. I mean, I mean. What um, you like about it? When there is positivity and loyalty, it's really, really good. When there isn't, it's really, really bad. But, so when there's positivity and loyalty out here, it's really, really good. But when there ain't, it's really, really bad. I mean, it's super bad, but it's, you know, pretty bad. How often is there positivity and, lo and loyalty here? I mean, I can't say. I mean, I've been staying in the shelter for, um, for like a month or two now. So I don't know how it really is out here anymore. But Ooh, okay. But, 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 last, but <laughs> the last time that um, I checked is there was more positivity than negativity. Let's just say that. Can't say how, but there's more positivity than negativity. Explain the bad times for the people who don't know. Let, let them know what the bad times are like. In like, let it, give it to them. In give bad. it to them on cut. I mean, the bad times are just, um, you know, thieves, shootings and stuff. People um, picking on you for no reason. Like, they, they, they would just, like, come up to you and just start, you know, like, wailing on you just for, just for the hell of it. No reason. Mm -mm. And how often do the bad times happen, Jolene? Like I said, I mean, not, not, um, I mean, like I said, there's more positivity than negativity, okay. but, um, it's not all the time where bad things happen. And you know, I'm interested. I'm not even gonna lie, Jolene. This place gives me goosebumps, man. Mm -hmm. Gives me goosebumps. It kind of scares me. I'm just out here, just getting your story, man. Mm -hmm. right. Trying to make sure the world know who Jolene is, and what Jolene has went through, been through, and made it through. Because mm -hmm. that leg looks very healthy. It looks way better than. It did before. Most definitely. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you. Proud of, proud of you for getting yourself in the shelter. You got some cleaner clothes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the Julian. That's the Julian. I want to. I want to see progressing. Mm-hmm. Keep going up, man. I want to see more. You want to see more? Mm-hmm. Okay. I gotta get you a fit, man. I had a fit in the uh, trunk. Mm -hmm. I ain't see you in six months, but I'm gonna get you some ASAP. Mm -hmm. Um, after this interview, you gotta let me know your whereabouts, like where you hang out at, so I can bring them right to you. Because last time we had a miscommunication, right. I couldn't get in contact with you. Yeah, they say you've been looking for me. <laughs> I was like crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I asked every every one of the addicts on the block. Asked all of them, showed them a picture of you and everything. They said he was just here, he was just here. <laughs> it hurt me to not find you, man. I had, I had something for you, it hurt me. Really did, man. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working with you, man. You my boy, man, I'm work with you. Hey, Julian, good morning. Good morning. Uh, can you move up some, Julian? I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, my ATM Ray, I'm here with Fox. Mm -hmm. Um, off to all time media, uh, you know us and stuff. Right. I remember you telling me that you're a big Lakers fan and stuff. So here you go, I got this Lakers hat for you. Yeah, thank you. Yep, Lakers hat for you. Um, mm. are you a fan of the Eagles at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got these Eagles Crocs for you, and I got some Nikes, Thanks. fresh pair of Nikes for you, man. Thank you. And on top of that, bro, your jacket's a little dirty. I'm gonna give you the jacket off of my back. All right, that's clean. Well, bro. All right, okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Uh -huh. Um, I told you that like your family now, so whenever I see you, see you, and you're hungry, 
Me and Ho, anything I got you, bro. Right. Um, anything you want to tell the people though, man, out there, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I I'm doing all right myself. I mean, I'm just you know, um, staying at that shelter. Um, it's been going pretty good. Um, I'm about to start that impact job pretty soon, cleaning up the streets, trying to make some money. Uh, I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that that's about it. So none else really. You know, it's been going around. Are you still in that um shelter? Yeah. Oh, what's going on with that? You still with it? Okay. Yeah, 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 you got yeah. to do impact, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud of you, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, man. Um, you know, you, you got our direct line. Whenever you want to talk to us, bro. Email, phone number, anything. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, uh, if y'all want, man, he want to relay some information, the email, help out, you know, any donations or anything, bro. Um, you know, man, we happy to see that you still alive out here, man. You know, it's it been a lot going on out here in Kizzleton. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, any last things you want to say to the fans, the people that are, are fans of which, who you are and your story, man? Um, yeah, um, you know, um, I, I love them. You know, they, you know, they, they, they give me all the support that, I, you know, that, that, that I need as much as they can. Um, I'm thankful for that. Thank you for, you know, you know, for all the nice comments and stuff. Yeah. That's all, right. Nice. That's all, right. all right, bro. I'm going to holler at you, man. All right. It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world, only a banger home.